welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to password protect a zip folder using 7zip. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page, you now need to select the version of your Windows. If you've got 32-bit, you need to click on the top download link. If you've got 64-bit, you need to select the second download link. I'm going to go ahead and select 64-bit and this is under the 7-SIP 19 version. You then need to go save file and run the setup file. You can now go ahead and press install and we can now go ahead and press close and 7-SIP is now installed to our computer. As you can see I have a test text document on my desktop. I'm now going to put this file into a zip folder with a password protect. To start off with first you need to select your files. I'm going to select this test.txt document and right click. You then need to go down to 7-SIP and we now need to click on add to archive. You will now end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to change the archive format from 7-Z to SIP unless you do want to keep it as 7-Z. You can now go ahead and go through a few of the settings but I'm just going to keep them as default for this video and on the right hand side we have encryption. This is where we can type in the password. I'm just going to put one and then one again. And once you are happy with your password, you can go ahead and press OK. As you can see, I have my test.zip folder on my desktop now. If I now open up the test.zip using Windows default zip opener, and if I double click on the test.txt, as you can see, it does say password protected here. If I double click, it's now asking me for a password. It will also do this if I try and extract the folder, go and extract tool and then extract. I still need to type in the password. If I now type in one and press OK, there we go. I can now go ahead and open up my file and there we go, it says test. And that is it. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.